Good evening. Welcome to day 21 of the COVID cast. I'm Henry Hushke coming to you from Traverse City, Michigan. The day is Friday, April 3rd, 2020. So today we've got a couple topics. Uh, It is Fun Day Friday. So uh, for this Fun Day Friday, I'm going to talk to you about some ways you can support small business. So starting out, we're going to go to our info on the virus. So if we go over to our Johns Hopkins case tracker... All right, so uh, right now we are sitting at 1,094,068 total confirmed cases of coronavirus. Uh, The United States continues to uh, lead the way in cases uh, with uh, almost 30,000 new cases today, sitting at 273,880 total confirmed cases at the time of recording here. So... Stories remain pretty similar with the virus, except maybe we're starting to see some slowing down in different parts of the U.S. and just different parts of the globe in general. Italy continues to see a decline or um, a decline in their new cases and a decline in uh, new deaths. Um, And they've almost gotten to the point where the total number of active cases is shrinking. They're very close to hitting their total peak there. So Italy is an example of a country that after basically a month of being on shutdown is now reaching their very peak. So that's a very informative thing for what timeline we should expect here and what timeline other places should suspect. The thing to see going forward is then how long does it take Italy to get back to normal and to be able to reopen things back up. So that's what we're going to be looking for here. Uh, Other notes on the virus in the state of Michigan, where I'm coming to you from, uh, we had today... We had uh, 1,953 new cases, so a pretty drastic uh, increase in cases here, and now we're at 12,774 total confirmed cases. So the state of Michigan has the third most cases in the country uh, behind New York and New Jersey, so um, we're definitely struggling here. Um, Detroit definitely needs more resources, Uh, it's really getting hit incredibly hard. Um, there was a really heartbreaking video of a bus driver um, who I believe uh, about two weeks ago uh, posted about a woman who ref- like who just didn't cover her mouth when she coughed. And that today, um, that bus driver uh, eventually got COVID and today died of COVID. So we're just seeing, I mean, that's, that's someone dead because that woman, presumably we can assume didn't cover her mouth. So, um, you know, we see the importance of what we have to do. So that's just something to remember uh, that, you know, social distancing, practicing hygiene, everything that we're doing, everything we're doing and disrupting our daily lives, it's all to save humans. It's to save life. It's to prevent death. So let's remember that. Um, uh, Other things with Michigan. Uh, where I'm at, Grand Traverse County, we're now up to 11 cases. Fortunately, we do have two people recovered now, so that's some positive news. But we did see another case of community transmission today. So, again, here especially, uh, we're going to try to be extremely vigilant. Um, the state of Michigan, I believe, still hasn't even tested 50,000 people yet, which obviously 50,000, you know, about 50,000 is a pretty big number, but that's still, given the amount of cases we're seeing, uh, woefully uh, inadequate right now. We have a massive outbreak here. So, uh, and I really feel like Michigan hasn't gotten the national attention maybe that it quote unquote deserves. Um, I know Louisiana is going through a lot of hardships, but it seems like to me, like they've gotten more press 
um, Washington obviously was uh, one of the first states with the out, um, where they had a mass outbreak, but they also seem to have gotten more press. Um, and same with Florida, who's done a woeful job and will likely, if I had to guess, surpass Michigan before it's all said and done. But still, uh, I do feel like Michigan uh, maybe needs more help on the national level, needs more help um, in the country. Um, yeah. Okay. So, uh, other notes on the virus. Uh, we continue to really see ramped up spread across the world. Brazil now clocking in at 9,000 cases. Very, very scary to me, that number there. Um, and other, other nations, um, India has 2,500 cases. Um, obviously Spain today passing Italy in total, uh, case numbers, I believe. Let me see. Oh, Spain is a few hundred away, uh, from Italy in terms, in terms of case numbers. So it seems like we're pretty likely going to see Spain, um, maybe eclipse Italy in terms of the damage, uh, done to their country. So, uh, my thoughts are out to Spain. I hope things get better. Germany likely tomorrow or the day after that will surpass 100,000 cases. So we're just seeing all across Europe these absolutely nightmarish scenarios uh, play out everywhere pretty much. Um, so it's pretty disheartening, but we are starting to see, we're not seeing exponential growth, um, which is the good thing. Definitely flattening the curve is occurring. Um, it's just a slow process and it's a difficult process with what we have so anyways with that out of the way it is fun day friday and i'm here today to uh give you guys a few ideas for how you can support local business we talked about the uh, incredible economic impact that's occurring today you know today uh, there were reports about uh, the way they're giving out these small business loans um, and a lot of the banks haven't even started yet because there's such a demand from these small businesses. But I know J.P. Morgan and Bank of America, I believe, have both rolled out their programs. Uh, Bank of America was getting a lot of hate and definitely, I think, uh, um, somewhat well-deserved because they were only allowing their customers to file for these loans. And the way it's going to work, as far as I understand right now, and I may be wrong, is that uh, the small businesses that get these loans, there's $450 billion set aside. But once that's out, it's out, and it's first come, first serve. And the demand has been absolutely extraordinary for these loans. I believe I heard that just today, uh, there were like hundreds of thousands of businesses applying just today. So uh, the fact that Bank of America was limiting who could get it uh, only to their customers, well, maybe understandable from the logistical perspective of what they're trying to do. Um, is still shameful because it is penalizing people who aren't members of Bank of America, and that just seems ridiculous to me. So um, I'm not sure if I have if my understanding is completely correct. Uh, um, correct me if it's not. That's just the way that I understand things right now. Anyways, going to ways you can help small businesses during this time. Uh, in the local area here, I've got a few things. First of all. Uh, Again, um, just uh, for general, uh, general, um, anyone anywhere. Uh, again, just uh, curb or curbside pickup is a really great uh, thing you can do. Uh, just to buy any sort of products, uh, to just keep try to keep these businesses afloat. Uh, locally here, we got a uh, Bubby's Bagels is doing uh, phone lines. Um, uh, the State Theater and Bijou. Uh, by the Bay here locally uh, are air, uh, are playing the film uh, The Etruscan Smile. They're offering it uh, at home uh, streaming uh, service. Uh, one really good thing uh, that I would definitely recommend to anyone living here in the area is the downtown Traverse City, um, I suppose a Chamber of Commerce, I'm not quite sure, uh, basically is doing this thing where if you... Um, if you purchase fifty dollars uh, for every fifty dollars in gift cards that you purchase from small businesses, you get an extra ten dollars in uh, downtown gift certificates here. So that's a really great program. I would recommend supporting right now. Definitely one um, I'm going to be supporting here, and uh, that's a really great way to help businesses. We talked about the uh, utility of 
uh, gift cards for different places is it being almost like um, a loan that's interest free and they only have to repay the loan with their product uh, which uh, isn't as expensive as the prices so uh, gift cards are a really great way to help support people plus people likely won't completely use the gift card so again I understand if you're having uh, economic difficulties or if you've been laid off um, you know, don't buy a gift card instead of buying groceries, um, you know, stay safe. But if you can, if you can spare, if if you have the extra money, it's a really good way to support uh, downtown. And one other uh, place, which I know uh, the people I've interviewed and just a lot of people that I know here uh, already really enjoy and something that I really enjoy and probably the first time that we're going to actually eat out here soon uh, is Mama Lou's Taco Shop. Uh, they're selling these fantastic taco kits, uh, which are really good, and they feed about five to seven people. So that would just be one example of something that you can do. These are all really good things to do for your local businesses, and it's going to be vital in ensuring that uh, the economy just doesn't completely collapse here. So uh, that's pretty much all I got to for you today. I know a little light on today's cast. Um, uh, I'm always open to any suggestions that you have, so if you have any uh, additional uh, things, um, just tell me. I will be completely open to doing them, and uh, I would like to do more interviews in the future. I really enjoyed that segment. Uh, thanks to everyone that came on, and I think that's going to do it for today's COVID cast. Anyways, make sure to have a fantastic Friday.